to you when is it okay to take someone's life? Uh, if they mean to do harm to myself or my family, I'll do anything I can to prevent them from doing it. If it means taking their life, fuck them. They've chosen their path. I grew up religious. Uh, I grew up in a Jewish household. Judaism is one of those religions where it, it, killing wasn't a bad thing. It's just, it, they, they look at it at a realistic standpoint. Don't do it if, it's, if there's no reason behind it. When I was a kid growing up, uh, I didn't have a lot of direction, but I was in a, uh, a plane crash when I, was, when I was 17. And after that, I was like, I need to do something with my life because I almost just died and didn't stand for anything. So uh, that's why I joined up. Have you ever killed anyone? Yes. Yes, I have. Are there any that stand out to you? Um, my first one stands out the most. Uh, we were in Chabron Valley, uh, I mean, early in my deployment. We, we might have been in country for 12 or 15 days. And yeah, the, my first kill was this guy. Uh, I just watched him running from a tree to a larger rock outcropping right in front of us. He might have been 100 meters away. Aim my grenade launcher at him and fired, and I just watched my, my round go right in and just nail him right at his feet with just <laughs> guts. Pretty rad. Everything is just split second. Just, I mean, you're you're a cunt hair away from getting killed. It, it's it's just pulling the trigger. You you really just turn it into a job. You just want to get it done. Cause then you go home. You can go back to your bed, have a fake beer, and jack off. Do you do you miss anything about war? I miss every goddamn second of it. <laughs> the war was awesome. It was so primal and uh, deep, almost. It, it it felt like ancestors were inside me. You know, like you're you're doing something that that mankind's been doing ever since we've had mankind. I mean, the two things we've been doing ever since we came out of whatever we evolved from are fuck and kill. Like, there's nothing more manly than watching helicopters fly overhead as you shoot a bunch of dudes, you know, as you're in a, a fucking gunfight, or shooting a goddamn missile at a person. That's awesome. Are there any other kills that uh, stand out to you that you remember? Yeah, um, we were in a couple different villages on, in, uh, in Sarobi. We, we gunned down these two guys uh, holding a, a larger machine gun, a PKM, and they were right next to a clot. A clot's a, uh, a house, uh, like a little mud hut. Um, and a lady came out, and you don't shoot women or, or children on the battlefield. It's, it's hard, but you can differentiate between a man and a female. We were just so into the moment. Uh, we watched her pick up the rifle, and that was, well, the machine gun, and that was, uh, that was the cue. And we just opened up, and it was just blood up against the wall. She just slumped over, and it's like, all right, we got her. That, that one was a little rough only because it was a woman. You know, you kind of have a, a code in your, in your mind as a soldier that you, you don't shoot women and kids. You don't, you don't want to, you never, you never want to because they're not the ones starting the fight. But you, know, you don't pick up the weapon, they, they know better. That country's been in a war since its inception whenever the hell the country was created, ever since people started living there. In, in war, you have to kind of weigh someone else's life versus yours or your buddies and, and live with that, that feeling that you've killed someone because you have to go home yourself. I'm, I'm in college now, and had I, just, had I let them outweigh their lives versus mine, you know, I'm dead. What are, what are they doing? They're still living in their, in their little village, uh, herding goats, and that's the, entire, that's the entire life that they know. Um, or there's some mercenary asshole, or there's some Taliban dickhead from Pakistan, and that's, that's their life, is to wage war on people. Mine is to come back, eventually raise a family, maybe own a business, who the hell knows? So. Is, is one life more precious than the other? No, but in the grand scheme of things, I felt like I want to go home more than they did, and here I am now. Do you think more veterans should be open to talk about these things? Absolutely. I think, uh, I think it would help. I think every veteran should talk. We want you guys to know what we've been through so you can understand what we've been through, but we don't want you guys to know what we've been through, to know how it feels to kill a person. Our entire sole purpose of joining up and doing what we did was to prevent you guys from having to know what that feels like. But talk about it. We're not wounded ducks. Fucking soldiers. Civilians love our fucking stories. I mean, how many times I've gotten fucking laid? A lot. Chicks dig that shit.